Welcome to the channel guys. On this episode, I'm going to show you guys what I do when I prepare a fender and I'm going to show you guys how I spray it. So for now, as you can see, the dent is already poured. I did put a bit of a body foil over here and now I'm putting chalk on. The chalk is very important. It's your guide coat. It will also show you any perfections, any deep scratches, any holes. Basically, it's there to show you when you sand it down. As you can see now, I'm sanding it down. Always use a speed file or your rubber block or whatever you guys use. I prefer a speed file. As you can see now, it's fairly nice and smooth and even, which is the guide code that shows me. So as you can see now, I'm using a P80 just to cut the top layer off and then I will use a 500 and then I'm gonna put my primer on. So guys, I'm gonna pour with this and get it in the spray book. Okay guys, so I put my first coat of base on and I see a Yeron pinhole over there. And right at the bottom of it, there's another one. And if you go down, there's another one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a spot putty on there. It dries quick and it's easy to sand. Then I won't put base again, cover those first, put my base and it's gonna, it's gonna look neat, flat, and you won't be able to see that there was any hole to start with. Okay guys, as you can see, there's my spot putty that's on. It dries very quickly, so that's the good thing about it. You can also use a microfine. The microfine foil also works quite well. So what you do after it dries up, you have to sand it nice and smooth. I use an 800 grit water paper because the scratches is, it's minimum. So my base does cover it quite nicely. Then what you have to do is, when you do, you put your base on, Make sure to cover those spots first, especially on this maroon, it's transparent, it covers quite hard. So what I do is, I obviously go maybe two or three really mist coats over there, cover. just to give it a bit of a cover. And then I spray the whole fender or end or whatever I need to do on it. But it's important to first cover those marks. As you can see now, it's covered and now we can paint it. Also remember guys to give your finesse time on your base. Don't get it stand too much, especially on the beginnings. Use your tag rag. After, what I do is after every coat, I will wipe off the overspray with my tag rag. And then go on. As you can out. see, it came out very nicely. It covered quite well. Give it a bit of time to dry. And then you can continue with the spray work. You see that marks? It's very important to cover them before you do your complete spray on the when door or the fender, what you need to do, make sure that that cover. marks are covered. Okay guys, after it's covered, you can go on and spray your base the way you want to do it. Everybody's got different ways, but I like to do my first coat, my wet coat, and then I mist it out. I think it's covering all right. Okay guys, as you can see, we're doing the final coat here. It came out very nicely, so I'm gonna show you guys when I do the clear. And it's gonna look amazing. Okay guys, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you did enjoy it. I'm gonna Don't show go you guys now how we put the clear coat on. on the front bumper. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm putting the knee on now. Remember to do the pressure of the gun the correct way. I do enjoy to do it on a 2.2 bar. Well, that's my way. Some people prefer a 2 bar, but I do a 2.2. On my base, I do a 2 bar. And with my drop code, I go to 1 bar, sometimes 0 0.8 bar. As you can see, the knee is covering quite well. Make sure to give it enough paint. Also, use your fan correctly. I will make a video to show you guys how I set my gun up. Make sure to have a water trap on your gun as well. And also I actually have a gauge on to show me the pressure. I can spray without it, but I do enjoy to know exactly my pressure. As you can see, the over yap is about 50-50. And this is the first coat. So give it a little bit of a wet coat. I only do two coats.
time for a second coat, guys. Remember, when you do your second coat, put it a bit more wet, but same style. 50-50 over here, 2.2 bar. Water trap on your gun, and you cannot go wrong. Be careful to put it too wet to make runs, but if you do it the same way you did the first coat, I don't see anything going wrong. As you can see, it's covering quite nice, and it's looking good. Okay guys, I'm going to forward here again to show you guys the end of it. Okay guys, it came out smooth. Tomorrow morning is dry, we can probably send this guy out. Just have to put some bending tunnels over there and over there and then we sort it. Then it's time to go home. Tomorrow is another day. Very nice. Very nice. Tomorrow morning we can send this guy out. It came out good. So guys, let's put off the spray booth. Okay guys, we are just giving it a quick burn. As you can see over here, I just want to make it to about 35 degrees just to make the clear set. As soon as the clear sets, put it off, turn it off, go home. Tomorrow is another, is another day. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. And then I'll see you on the next video that I make for you guys. Thank you.